Welcome learners to this session on environmental chemistry. In the last session we discussed about water pollution, soil pollution and industrial pollution caused by industrial waste. After studying the air, water, soil and industrial waste pollution in these sessions, you must be now feeling the need of controlling environmental pollution. How can you save your immediate environment? You can also undertake some steps or activities for controlling the air, water, soil and industrial pollution in your neighborhood. Today we will be discussing the management of wastes and green chemistry. Now waste management means that solid as well as other kind of a waste around you. Solid waste is not the only waste which you see in your household garbage box, but besides the household waste discards, there are medical, agricultural, industrial and mining wastes also. The improper disposal of waste is one of the major concerns and causes of environmental degradation. Therefore, the management of waste is of utmost importance. You must be aware of the Swachh Bharat Abhiyan or Clean India mission launched by the government of India. Two programs are being implemented under the broad umbrella of the Swachh Bharat Abhiyan. These are Swachh Bharat Mission Urban that is SBMU and Swachh Bharat Mission Grameen that is SBMG. The SBMU primarily aims at making urban India free from open defecation and achieving 100 percent scientific management of solid waste in the country. The SBMG targets to bring about an improvement in the general quality of the life in rural areas by promoting cleanliness and hygiene and eliminating open defecation. The goal is to achieve the universal sanitization. If you have participated in some of the events with reference to the Swachh Bharat mission, you can also share your experiences in your class. Now coming to the disposal and collection of the waste, the domestic waste are collected in small bins which are then transferred to the community bins by private or municipal workers. From these community bins, these are collected and carried to the disposal sites. At the site, garbage is sorted out and separated into biodegradable and non-biodegradable materials. The non-biodegradable materials such as plastic, glass, metal scraps, etc. are sent for recycling and the biodegradable wastes are deposited in the landfills and there these are converted into compost. The waste if not collected in the garbage bins find its way into the sewers. Some of it is eaten by the cattle, especially non-biodegradable wastes like polythene bags, metal scraps, etc. choke the sewers and cause inconvenience. Polythene bags if swallowed by the animals can cause their lives also. As a normal practice, therefore, all domestic waste should be properly collected and disposed of. The poor management of the waste causes health problems leading to epidemics due to the contamination of the groundwater. It is specially hazardous for those who are in direct contact with the waste, such as rag pickers and workers who are involved in the waste disposal because they are the ones who handle the waste materials mostly without protective devices such as gloves or waterproof boots or gas masks. Therefore, we should take care of proper disposal of the waste. Besides this, are there any other alternatives also to manage the waste so that it is created lesser in the quantity? Yes. There is one such approach being followed and it is known as green chemistry. So, let us now learn more about this very popular approach now, green chemistry. It is well known fact that self-sufficiency 
in food has been achieved in India since late 20th century by using fertilizers and pesticides and exploring improved methods of farming, good quality seeds and irrigations etc. But over exploitation of soil and excessive use of fertilizers and pesticides have resulted in the deterioration of soil, water and air. The solution of this problem does not lie stopping the process of development, but to discover the newer methods which would reduce the deterioration of the environment. Green chemistry is a way of thinking and is about utilizing the existing knowledge and the principles of chemistry and other sciences to reduce the adverse impact on the environment. Green chemistry is a production process also that would bring about minimum pollution or deterioration to the environment. The byproducts generated by a process if not used gainfully add to the environmental pollution. Such processes are not only environmental unfriendly, but also cost ineffective. The waste management and its disposal both are economically unsound. Utilization of existing knowledge base for reducing the chemical hazards along with the developmental activities is the foundation of the green chemistry. It is well known that organic solvents such as benzene, toluene, carbon tetrachloride etc. are highly toxic. One should be careful while using them. You also know that a chemical reaction involves reactants attacking reagents and the medium in which the reaction is taking place. The extent of any reaction depends upon physical parameters like temperature, pressure and use of catalyst etc. In a chemical reaction, if reactants are fully converted into useful environmental friendly products by using an environment friendly medium, then there would be no chemical pollutants introduced into the environment. During a synthesis, care must be taken to choose starting materials so that they can be converted into the end products with yield approximately up to 100 percent. This can be achieved by arriving at optimum conditions of the synthesis. It may be worthwhile also to carry out the synthetic reactions in the aqueous medium because water has high specific heat and low volatility. Therefore, water is cost effective also, non-inflammable also and devoid of any carcinogenic effects which are caused by the other chemicals. So, let us see the use of green chemistry in day to day life. There are certain case studies, very interesting ones and we will be explaining all of these, some selected samples. First is dry cleaning of clothes, second is bleaching of paper, third is synthesis of chemicals, fourth is green solution to clean the turbid water. Now, starting with the dry cleaning of the clothes, tetrachloroethane was earlier used as a solvent for dry cleaning purposes. This compound contaminates the groundwater and is also a suspected carcinogen that is cancer causing. The process using this compound is now being replaced by a process where liquid carbon dioxide with suitable detergent is being used for this purpose. The replacement of halogenated solvent by carbon dioxide will result in less harm to the groundwater. These days, hydrogen peroxide is used for the purpose of bleaching clothes in the process of laundry, which gives better results and make use of lesser amount of water. The second case is that of bleaching of paper. Earlier, chlorine gas was used for this purpose. These days, hydrogen peroxide with suitable catalyst, which promotes the bleaching action is being used. Synthesis of chemicals, for example, ethanol is now commercially prepared by one step oxidation of ethene in the presence of an ionic catalyst in aqueous medium to yield 90 percent of the desired product. This is shown in the reaction here. Then green solution to clean the turbid water. Powder of kernel of tamarind seeds have been found to be very effective as a material to 
make the municipal and industrial waste water clean. It is non-toxic, biodegradable as well and it has been found that this powder is discarded as agricultural waste. The present practice is to use alum to treat such a water. It has been also found that alum also increases the toxic ions in the treated water and can cause many diseases. Thus, by these case studies, you can very well understand that green chemistry is a cost effective approach which involves reduction in the material, energy consumption and lesser waste generation. It would be interesting for you to know that Nobel Prize has also been awarded for work in the green chemistry. Three scientists, one of them is French and the two other are Americans. You can see in the photographs here that they have been awarded the Nobel Prize for the chemistry in the year 2005 for their work in the metathesis reactions. That means the metathesis reactions are the ones which are of very commercial importance in pharmaceutical industries, biotechnology and food stuff production industries as well. It is also used in the development of revolutionary environmentally friendlier polymers which are the demand of the day. Metathesis is an example of how important application of basic sciences for the benefit of humans, society and the environment. Thus, green chemistry can reduce potentially hazardous waste through smarter production. Now, having understood these ideas, you may ask now what is our responsibility as a human being to protect our environment. We can also take some steps and contribute towards a better quality of environment and the human life. You can also set up a compost tin in your garden or any other place in your home and use it to produce manure for the plants you are growing instead of using the fertilizers. Now you can also use a cloth bag and avoid carrying a plastic bag when you go to the market to buy any groceries, vegetables or other items. You should also ensure that all newspapers, glass, aluminium and other items in your area are being properly recycled. Though we do not have solutions for each and every problem related to the environment, but we can do focused efforts in some issues. So, certainly we can contribute to the best uh, what we are able to do and we should take care to put into practice what we preach. That means, first of all, we should start from ourselves and also remember that environment protection begins with us. So, let us do our best in this direction. You can set up a compost tin in your garden or any other place in your home and use it to produce manure for your plants to reduce the fertilizers use. Let us now sum up what we have learnt in this session. We have learnt that the improper disposal of wastes is one of the major causes of environmental degradation. Therefore, the management of waste is of utmost importance. Swachh Bharat Abhiyan or Clean India Mission has been launched by the government of India. The poor management of waste causes health problems leading to epidemics due to contamination of groundwater. Green chemistry can help in reducing pollution or deterioration of the environment. Nobel Prize has been awarded for the work in green chemistry in the year 2005. We should contribute our best to save the environment. Now, there is time to answer some questions based on what you have learnt in this session. What is non-biodegradable waste? How can it be reduced? Which chemical reactions do you perform in your laboratory? Are they generating any waste? or are creating any pollution? What efforts are being done in the area of green chemistry in India? We hope that you have enjoyed learning from this session. Thank you very much for being with us. Mm -hmm.